Hi, in this video I'm going to give an overview of how to configure the NI uh, app uh, to allow for remote viewing of our OAHD DVR. So the same procedure regardless whether it's 4, 8, 16 way DVRs, same app. And um, we're going to do this on, on a, a static IP address which is the most stable way of doing the viewing on it. So in a previous video we covered the whole topic of how to just quickly download uh, the NY app for free directly off the Google App Store um, or um, uh, off Google Play here, okay, or off the, the, the iPhone version or the, the, the Android version here. So just tap in this here, we'll just go directly in. So we're just going to have to configure this. So the first thing I'm going to do is just hit the plus button. I'm going to say I want to manually enter it and I want to do it by IP. So I, I just choose the top option here. We come along here, we type in the name um, specifically of this. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to skip there directly onto the, the, the meat of the issue here, which is the IP address. Now normally what I'll be doing here is entering a static IP address. In, in our case, we're going to just enter the local area network uh, IP address for the router simply because uh, we don't want to give away our static IP address because it's, a, you know, for security reasons, that would never be a good idea. But the procedure is exactly the same. So it's just 192.168.0.0. Um, one, and then the final thing is the actual one that's on our local area to be allocated to it, which is 29, and we just come along, we just go to the port here, and the port we're going to go for is 5000, okay, and then we just next all the way down, and um, in terms of the options on it, we're just going to go for one camera version, and we're just going to go do, and then we'll just go sure, okay. And what we'll hopefully see now in a few moments' time is the actual um, camera come up for us. So we'll just go for the one camera thing here, and that's it. It's been viewed remotely through it. So it's really, really handy, uh, very straightforward to do it here. Now, we have other ways of doing it. We're going to have more versions of it, but professionals generally prefer to go with static IP addresses. It's just the best and simplest way to do it. So that's it anyway, an overview of how to um, uh, configure your NI uh, app to be able to uh, view your uh, DVR remotely.